Internet. Corey Zamir here, back with the weekend adventure. We're really professional today. Uh, back with the weekend adventure and video game hunting. Uh, it's a Friday. I decided to hit up this sale. Of course, the sharks are out. And some old shark I've never even seen before is looking for Xbox games. Uh, but I got a pretty good peek at what they have. There was another guy looming also. I don't know if I got him in the shot. No interest. Nothing there. Two dollars each. Eh. Not much for me. And I'm also fucking starving. So. Let's see what we can get on Saturday. Right? Yeah, and that's where we can break records. 
That's a little higher. That's a risk. You don't have that. No, like I said, we can work on the prices. I thought I'd give you four bucks. Last so had a uh, Smash Brothers soundtrack that was in Club Nintendo exclusive, which would normally be cool, but I have one that I've been trying to get rid of at my tag sale and trade events for almost an entire year now, so it doesn't make sense to get a second one. Uh, the Atari, and this is the Telstar. Huh. I don't know if I've ever even seen one of these. That's old. <laughs> That's probably older than you were. Yeah. Let's see over here. Uh, how much should you be looking for all of it? As much as I can get. <laughs> what are you offering? Do you know if this works? Yes. Hey, Doug. Hey. How are you? Peachy Creamy, how's by you? Right, you. Thank you. Take care. Buy something. Stop and buy something. Oh, I'll be there because I have to go somewhere. Why don't you take $20 for it? It's a little on the skinny side with the games. I go 30. $3 pickup. Had the Xbox 360 version back in the day. So that was one of the weirdest transactions at a game exchange. It's a good thing I wanted the game. I asked to see the game and one of the employees like kind of grabbed it and took it to the register and started ringing it up. I was like, well, it's a good thing it's complete and I wanted that shit. Sunday flea market time. Let's hope we have some better luck than we usually do.
How much are the games? Uh, Xbox, uh, 360 games are $3 each, and then uh, PlayStation 4 games, it kind of depends. We got, like, uh, Black Ops 3 and Far Cry Primal, like, $8, and my like, NBA and Far Cry 4, like, 5 bucks. Okay. Even I can't be dumb enough to buy two Ataris in the same weekend. I didn't get any film of it, but there was someone over there with... Actually, you can see him back there somewhere. Uh, with Super Mario Maker. But wanted 32 for it. Hey, guys. I thought our weekend adventure was gonna be over, but they pulled me back in. Oh, I almost dropped my phone, jackass. But, as we're eating breakfast at this here IHOP, I noticed that there was an event going on today, which I usually go to, but didn't have on my calendar for some reason. And that is a comic convention, so will I get video games? I don't know. Will I get trade paperbacks? Probably. Probably. Let's go check it out.
30 raffle coming up. Get your tickets ready. First big raffle of the day. Hey, we got Xbox One. I got rid of all those. Wow, what are you looking for? Looking for it. I was just going to call my granddaughter. Oh, uh, that's like the more recent one. I'll be there. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, turn it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, they're all eight. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the same guys with that on your phone. <laughs> oh, online. I'm telling you, online. You can see over a lot of views. If you ask, well, you always do. Right. Oh, shit, huh? Yep. Uh, story. We got dollar club. Your boy, yeah. You gotta, you gotta throw out a number, and you gotta. I like to play that game. It's fun. You go up and down. So, pick out, pick out another three dollar one too. Oh, you sure? Right. This may not happen again. Okay. These other, these other guys. No, meaning from these other guys. So thank you. Thank you. Don't work too hard. Comes in all the time. This one, he's always at my table. Right? You always come by. You look. I think you chopped your mop a little bit, didn't you? I see you all the time. He's always over here. He's always at my table. So I'll hook you up over here. Oh, he's a sophisticated guy now. I'm just kidding. Oh, good for you, man. It's good. I just haven't had time. It only gets worse and worse, buddy, when you get older. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna have much time for a lot anymore. Yeah. Believe me. That's the sad thing about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get all the Tales? You got all the Tales games? Um, I'm gonna grab What'd you grab? Let me see. I wanna see what you're into. Because I might have some more at home. Yeah, you got the Tales. These are good. These are getting tough to get, too. That one, not so much. That one's Tails. I got the Graces in there too. Yeah, yeah, I saw the Graces. Well, no? they're, they're all part of it. I know they're part. I didn't play them all or nothing, but they're all part of it. I guess anything that has tails of is yeah. all yeah. part of that. Yeah. I just sold one. Are you kidding me? I have games. I have some games left. Some of the some of the obscure ones. Dungeon Travelers, that controversial one. I have a copy of that. I wasn't able to get to filming right at the beginning of that conversation with the video game guy in this convention. But he does have other stuff. He says he has a lot of turbo graphic stuff. So hopefully as these conventions go on, he'll start bringing cooler and cooler things. Just had to make sure I'm here first. I was a little kid, well not a little kid, college kid, that did end up getting a whole bunch of RPGs from him right before I got there, or right as I was there. Probably got some of that on film, but that's gonna do it. Let's go to the pickups.
Alright guys, let's take a look at what I was able to find on this weekend adventure in video game hunting. As you can see, I'm sitting in the living room because it is about 95 degrees outside and this is the only room with air conditioning going right now. Well, going before I started the video, so it's a little bit cool in here, but understandably I'm going to rush through this because I really like to get that AC back on. Had what I would consider an eh, okay weekend at the garage sales found some stuff nothing crazy uh, of course one thing I always like to do in the morning at the first few sales I hit is to get the band-aid off find something because when it's getting to be like 9 10 o'clock and you still haven't had your first score given I wouldn't call this a score it's really frustrating so even if it's just a shitty game for a dollar I'll pick it up and for a dollar I picked up I spy spooky mansion the scholastic game never heard of it it's complete and I also picked up at that sale uh, we were trying to do a bundle deal with stuff Alicia had and stuff I had but they're kind of novice garage sale havers I guess and everybody had their own stuff so everybody had their own money and thus she was buying from one person I was buying from the other they weren't interested in really bundling it all together uh, but I also picked up some Pokemon cards for two dollars I don't know why like I said sometimes you want to get the band-aid off and they actually had some of these um, like life counter things that I thought were pretty cool uh, they got, I think that's Chespin Cure? I don't know Maybe that's Eval Tall, I don't know. And the Firefox, whatever it's called. Blazekin, not Blazekin. Fennekin, Fenna, something, I don't know. It's been a while since I played the games. Uh, at another sale, we had a few neighborhood sales actually. And at this sale, they had one Wii game, once again, also trying to get the band aid off SSX Blur. And one thing you guys should look out for if you garage sale and look to pick up games that you might be able to trade into GameStop, I'm noticing a lot of the Xbox 360 and Wii titles I picked up no longer trade in for anything at all at GameStop. So be aware of that if you do pick something up and have the intention of, eh, if it's not worth it, I'll just trade it into GameStop. You might not be able to. And that's the case with SSX Blur. And about half of the 360 games I'm going to show you right now. Uh, I got these all for a dollar each. And I picked them up because I was just surprised at the decent quality titles, to be honest. Uh, we got the Game of the Year edition for Fallout 3. The inner case could be a little bit better. It's a little jacked up right there. But still pretty cool. Um, not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I'd ever play it. I've watched a decent amount of Let's Plays on these, uh, the Fallout games, this and New Vegas, so I don't know if I'd actually play it for myself. Uh, for a dollar, we also got Fear Files. I don't know what this is, if this is like a full game. It says Complete Standalone Expansion Pack Series, so I don't really know what that means. Uh, Platinum Hits, Grand Theft Auto 4, Resident Evil 5. Left 4 Dead 2. This one used to trade in for like at least $10. Now it trades in for I think 5 Bioshock Infinite. Condemned 2. Bloodshot. Batman Arkham City. And they also had a Wii game there that I picked up also for a dollar. And they actually had to go inside with the Wii unit to get the disc out of there. And that is Mario Super Sluggers. Probably the best game out of that lot, at least value-wise. Uh, at another sale, I decided to pick up, I don't even know what you'd consider this, a board game? It's a game. It looked like a more interesting version of Jenga. It's a special edition. Tetris Jenga. Play with translucent D Jenga Tetris blocks. So instead of the regular you know, flat, straight blocks, you have Tetris pieces. I don't know, maybe we'll try that out at some point. Uh, 
for that, I believe, was it for Saturday, other than when we went to Game Exchange. I decided to pick up Maximum Carnage for the Sega Genesis Complete. Uh, the cartridge is kind of... The label is kind of glued back on, from what I can tell. And they didn't do the best job with it. It's kind of a weird situation when we were there. Uh, I asked to see it. And the employee that I usually deal with there, I think he's the manager of the store, brings it out, hands it to me, and I'm starting to look at it. And the other employee that's re running the register comes over with his hand out to take it from me. <laughs> and I'm just like... I, I basically opened it up real quick, saw that the game and the manual were there, and handed it to him. And he goes and he starts ringing it up for me as if, like, I'm just automatically going to buy it. Fortunately, I was, but it was just kind of a weird transaction. Uh, at garage sales... Oh, yeah, I missed a game from Saturday. Yeah, the Hardened Edition Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Probably going to keep this in my collection. One of my more played Call of Duty games back in the day, but I had it for the 360. I actually had the same hardened edition, but for the 360. Uh, at the... Oh, I keep forgetting shit from Saturday. Maybe it's because I don't want to remember this pickup. So as you saw, we picked up some really old games. First up, there's a Telestar Alpha. It's from Coleco. It has three settings, which barely change. Um, beginner, intermediate, and pro. And that has looks like four games: tennis, hockey, handball, and what the fuck does that even mean? Jai Alai. I don't know what that means. I think there's pong on here. It. I guess you have to, if you're playing two players, like the controllers are on the console itself. So there's actually no controllers. You just hook it up to the TV. Has this primitive hookup. Uh, I have no idea how I would play this, to be honest. So I'd have to Google it or YouTube a video, to be honest. Uh, and along with that, that, that goes for about like $10 from what I was able to see. I paid $25 for everything in this bundle. And there was an Atari 2600 system. Seems to be in decent shape. There's so many different variations on the Atari 2600, and I'm not educated on which one this would be. If it's a good one, if it's the worst one, if it's the most common one, I don't care. I just picked it up because at the time, I just wanted to pick something up. And it came with a bunch of games. Some of these are in a format that I just don't see very often. I don't know if they were made specifically for the 2600 or if something else. We got International Soccer, Armor Ambush, and like I said, they just have an end label. They don't have anything else on them. But they would fit the cartridge slot, so I'm assuming it's for the right system. Dark Cavern, Astro Blast, Space Attack. We got Zaxxon, Frontline, Demon Attack, Riddle of the Sphinx, War Plock, Cosmic Arc, and Star Voyager. Let me know if there's anything to know about those games or if they're just common Atari garbage i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't think i'm gonna hold on to it because the last thing i really need in my game room is a spot on my shelf that just has atari cartridges i i didn't grow up with the system i'm not a fan of the system and any of the games i'd want to play on it are probably on the atari anthology that i have on the ps2 so the fuck with it i picked it up uh on sunday we hit the flea markets I left something in the other room. Alright, I'm back. I forgot my Sunday flea market stuff in the backpack. At the flea market, I picked up two games. One of them was $3. That is Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Picked it up for $3 because it trades into GameStop for 6 
and I also picked up Tech Mobile Kickoff. It's a game I used to have from a trade I did with my friend Ted. It's basically Tech Mobile, but on the DS. I think I'm gonna hold on to it this time. I think last time I got rid of it, back when it was like worth 10, 10 or $20, something like that. And I didn't have any desire to keep it. Now that football season's back around, eh, maybe I'll play it, who knows. And for that I paid $2.50. I always hate it when they want to haggle for change though. One of the worst things ever is haggling for change. Because for one, I don't want someone to give me 50 cents and I don't have 50 cents to give people. So it's just frustrating to me. Now the last thing I got on Sunday was at the Comic Con, local Comic Con that I go to sometimes. And there is a video game vendor that sets up there. And I don't know how much of it I caught on film, but he has some decent shit. And he'll hopefully continue to bring it as these events go on. I picked up seven games from him for $20. I think it was a great deal. I got a complete Sonic Chaos for the Sega Game Gear. Kengo Legend of the Nine, an Xbox 360 exclusive. I like the Kengo series. I played uh, the PlayStation 2 game that they had, and it's also kind of a spiritual successor to Bushido Blade, which I like. I picked up the Cursed Crusade. I picked this up because it's an Atlas title, and it looked like it could be fun. I don't know if I would keep it because it's not an Xbox 360 exclusive, but it was only three bucks, or less than that because of the bundle deal. Picked up Infinite Undiscovery, a game that I've never played, but I think I've owned at least four times now. Pinball, or Dream Pinball 3D. I kind of like the idea of having pinball games, but on console or on handheld. I, I like playing pinball when they're, like there's a pinball machine around. I used to have one when I was a kid, and I always pick up like pinball compilations or pinball games when I see them, and they're not too expensive. We got Sengoku Basara, Samurai Heroes, and the last game is actually the one I'm most excited to try because we've been watching Game of Thrones recently, Game of Thrones for the PS3. I think I've heard that this isn't very good, but as someone who's watching the show, maybe it'd be fun. But that is going to do it for this long-winded pickup portion of the weekend adventure in video game hunting. Let me know what you were able to find on your weekend adventure or just thrifting, whatever. However you pick up games, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you got. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. You can go check me out on Patreon. I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate the support. And thank you once again to Totterbert for your continued support. <sighs> That's going to do it. Keep it real, internet. I love you guys.